Thank you so much to Card Market for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Filippa. Welcome back to a new video here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be playing Duskmorn Rakdo Sacrifice. That's right, two weeks ago I played on this channel a Bloomboro Rakdo Sacrifice list and I told you all get ready for Duskmorn because Rakdo Sacrifice is getting some sweet cards and I think it's going to be very viable in the meta. So let's see if that's true and let's see how I build this deck. First of all, four Corrupted Convictions as an additional cost to cast this spell, sack a creature, draw two cards. As you know, in the Rakdos archetype, the idea is that you just play very cheap creatures that you don't mind sacrificing. You even get some value out of them and you draw some extra cards and you just get the engine going. We have three cut downs because trust me, standard best of one is crazy and people are trying to win on turn two. That's right. So you better believe that I'm going to have my cut down ready to make sure that doesn't happen. Cut down on a bunch of one drops because if they are attacking, I'm blocking. I already know what's going to happen. I already know all the meta is crazy uh, and I'm not about letting that happen. I'm sorry. We have four Fear of the Lost Teeth. This card is so good. It's exactly what Sack needed, like a good one drop that gives you value when it dies. Whenever this dies, it deals one damage to any target and you gain one life. So it's better than draining because the damage you can give anywhere. So if they have like a 2-1, which they now they are playing a lot of these fairy 2-1s, you just get rid of it. That's right. We are also playing four Final Vengeance, that's also a new card, and it's really good. As an additional cast to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature or enchantment. The enchantment part is good because we have Opalous Nightmares that we want to sacrifice and the new Disturbing Mert, so that's actually a lot of value. Exile target creature, and exile is also a key word. It's better than destroying this meta, trust me. We are playing four Opalous Nightmare. Uh, you already know this card, it works really well, again, with things like the Finals Vengeance, with Braids, because then you're going to sacrifice it with the Viper, so you better be sure we are playing four of those. We are also playing four Clockwork Percussionists, so that's another one drop that we were desperately needing, another one drop that does things. First of all, it has Ace, so right away you can start attacking, and when it, it dies, exile the top card of your library, you may play it until the end of your next turn, so not your turn, but the next one. So that's really good. Again, it works super well with this synergy that we have of sacrificing creatures and enchantments. We're also playing Disturber Mert, which is a two mana. Whenever it enters, you may sacrifice another enchantment or creature, so you can sacrifice another Disturbing Mert. If you do, you draw two cards, and then whenever you sacrifice these, you're going to manifest Thread, which is a new mechanic. So that's really good, you make a 2-2, and if it's a creature then we can transform it. That works really, really well with our deck synergy. We have three comeback wrong. So destroy target creature. If a creature card is put into a graveyard this way, return it to the battlefield under your control. Sacrifice it at the beginning of your next end step. So unfortunately this doesn't get the creature aced. That would be too bonkers, but there's a lot of creatures with enter the battlefield effects. And the way that these work, you don't just steal it. You destroy it and then it enters under your control. So if there's any enter the battlefield, you're going to get it. So that works really, really well. And also then you can just use cards like the Corrupted Conviction to sacrifice it and get additional value. So that works really well as well in our deck. We're playing three braids. Braze is perfect. Braze is just perfect. I mean, sacrifice my Opal's Nightmares, cry two cards, get advantage, sacrifice my Disturbed Mert, let's manifest Dread, let's then get the ability from Braids going. This card is just so good. And three Vipers, because we have a lot of one drops, a lot of cheap enchantments that we want to sacrifice, and nothing better than a Rot Mob Viper to do so. When it comes to lands, I just want to tell you that there's these new lands that are really strong, not only in Rakdos, but in other colors as well, which um, they add black and then they add red activate only if you have a swamp or a mountain. So this is insane. There's like no reason why you, sh you are not running that. Like, why shouldn't we? It's just perfect. It's so good and we needed a card like this. Love it. Always enters and taps, which is amazing. So, so far, so good. Let's see how the games play out. Against Croxis, okay. I'm excited to see what Croxis is doing with this set. Uh, this is skippable, I think. It's not great, but it's fine. Okay, so it looks like 
another rack those enjoyer. Gotta love that. This card is wicked. It's quite cute. Okay, some treasure. Some treasure is nice. I just want to check something, so whenever this dies, I exile the top card of a library, you may play it until the end of your next turn, so... You still get some time to play it, which is nice. Hey, they're copying me. Ooh, that's good. That is good. Okay, that's fine. Oh, braids is nice. Let's attack first. Let's play the braids. Let's sack the cloth work. That's fair. Bye bye, treasure. Ooh, Opla Nicemare is great in this deck. I love it. Opla's Nightmare is a really good card. Of course, it lets good when we want to sack it and then they just sack this card and get value, but. That's okay. So they do manifest the bread. But not much we can do there. That's okay. Ooh, that's also a good one. Okay, so they discard a the land, that makes sense. Okay, so that card was the Ubraska's Forge. Okay, that's a good one. When, what is that? Whenever a creature you control dies, it shows... Ooh, that's good. It's actually really good. It's actually really, really good. So, what do I want to do? I think it's Sylvie's. See what they decide to do. That's bad. I mean, it is cool, but it's... I mean, whenever a creature you control dies, your opponent drains. Okay, and then... How does this... It's locked, so room. You may cast either Alf. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that door unlocks on the battlefield as a sorcery. You may pay the mana cost of a locked door to unlock it. Okay. That's rough, but at least they don't have a way yet to deal with my Viper, I guess. Hopefully. So I wanna discard. So I discard a land, get a card. Okay, that's not terrible. They have to start choosing. Probably have to block there. That's okay. All in all, not too bad. 
Not too bad. Another one. That's going to be... Ooh, that's going to be rough, isn't it? We take it. So they're going to drain too. Ooh, another one. Okay. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Need a trample. <laughs> it's kind of wild. I think I have to attack anyway. At least to the Viper, you know? Okay, Fountain Port is fine, I guess. Just have to whip that this Viper carries me, I guess. Like, Viper is literally... I never saw a Viper with so many counters. Oh, but they have the Restless Vents? Yeah, then I die. Unfortunately, I die. How does the trigger- how do the triggers work? Okay, so I'm at one. It's not enough. Okay, it's enough, because they don't have anything. Okay, that was- that was fun. That was a great game. Let's go. I go first, which is great. Mm, don't have anything exciting yet, but hi, Iliad, how are you doing? What are you playing? Tell me all about it. I need one of my little one drops, I think. That ain't it. That is not it. I really need one of my little drops. To make this work. These mice are cute though. Okay. Some jammed action, I like it. Okay, that's perfect. Taking some damage, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so I can play this land next turn, which is nice. Cannot Viper yet. Ooh, this is rough. But it's fine. We can manifest spread. Doesn't really matter. If they try to kill my thing, I will corrupt conviction. That's a cool one. That's a nice little card. I don't want to do that in case they have removal. At least not yet. It's like new domain, I think. They have uh, leyline binding. They're thinking like, is it worth to use the leyline binding on this little tutu? I mean, not on my watch. Ooh, this might be good. This might be really interesting. But let's see what they have. Because we know that these leyline decks can get a bit crazy. Hopefully they'll give us a creature to use the disturbing mirt on. 
No, the, this one and then Disturbing Meat. Come back wrong. That's a beautiful card, by the way. It's really funny. I like the art of these cards. They, it's kind of creepy, but it kind of reminds me of like the OG magic cards. I don't know if anyone feels the same, but I like these like more darker sets. Bloomboro is also super cute, but yeah, that thing is rough. I mean, I can steal one of those, but still. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Oculus Nightmare is nice. We could do that. Ooh. I don't say no to Oplus Nightmares. It's just such a good card. So I have the cut down. Do they're imprinting, that's their strategy. That's okay. We can steal it. We cut it down. Okay, so I can do this. I get the trigger. Fortunately, it doesn't get aced. She's a bit sad. But it's like, okay, I guess. Oh, I should have done the plus Nightmare. Yeah, I should have done the plus Nightmare. I don't know why I didn't. It's okay. I could still do it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That's not doing much. So, it's either Gliso or the last card that they have. We shall see. This is going to transform. I think they might have another early line. They might need to take care of this uh, Viper. What they don't know is that we have another one. That's okay. So they do not have an answer for the Viper. Wow. Sure, like that. And I'll attack with both. And this is too bright. They have to start sacrificing things because this is too much. But these two ones are also going to start being too much, so. That's okay. I should pay one for the full cost, actually. They have, to, they have to start deciding. They are at three. I mean, this is going to start dealing a lot of damage. And then I still have my comeback wrong. That card was MVP. I love it. GG. Mm, I think this is fine because we have the percussionist with something like Corrupted Conviction or the Finals Vengeance. So that might work, depending on what they're playing. Okay, so let's start attacking. Just one little damage, not too much. Next we also have Braids, which is nice. What is that? Ooh. I see what that is. Kind of scary. Okay, let's sack these. Start getting some value. Okay, so we got a land next turn that we can play, which is nice. Let me just read something. Sacrifice at the beginning of your next end step. At the beginning of... Your next end step. So it's the same 
timing. I think we just should order it well. Ooh, that's a good one. Invasion of Gobokan. I mean, choose your fighter. I have quite a bit of mana, so... This thing is annoying, because it's a lot of mana, so we need to be careful with it. It's a lot of mana reduction. Okay, really? Okay. First of all... It does not gain haste, but at least we can draw cards out of it. So, you know, not so bad. Still got some decent value. Even though my Precursionist is costing so much. Oh, this thing is scary. Okay, but I have an idea. So if I do this... And I do that, and I use this, I can kill that one. Not too bad. Let's attack, because why not? That worked pretty well for us. Ooh, it's another one of these that does reduce the cost. Okay, so... Oh, I cannot attack with that, I always forget it. Uh, this one... That was a mistake this turn, but... We'll be fine, I lost a bit of damage, that's it. I always forget he doesn't get aced, because usually these cards that steal, they get aced. Steal sacrifice, but it makes sense. With aced it would be too OP. Still we can get a good value from it, but... Let's attack first, see if they do anything. Then let's play the Mert to get some value. Okay, lands, lands is not exactly the value that I wanted, but maybe it's the value that I deserve. Oh, those are good cards. Okay, next turn I could do good things with Braids and Disturb Mert. That's... that's good. And we still have the Comeback Wrong, which is removal. I love this card, I swear. The more that I play with it, the more that I love it. A bit overpriced, but still good. They can suck the ossification, give me great back. I mean, it's legendary, so it doesn't really matter. That's okay. Let's attack with everything. Could also attack with the Restless, but I think it's fine. Ooh, the Percussionist. I wanted a Viper or something, but... Mm. This one doesn't matter. Hopeless nightmare. I don't know. You just start doing so many things. They go to three. This one. You sack this. They don't have a creature, so they take two. I say also an enchantment. Okay, then it's fine. But they still take one. So there are two. They are two very close, yet so far. I mean, I think we should be fine. Even if they ward wipe, then I have restless vents and I win that way. What is that? Whenever. Okay. That 
does not have life link, so. He has mana, so let's just attack with that. Get another card. Could have just stole it as well, but I guess that would be just too mean. GG. Okay, so I do have the final Svenges, which opus works really well with Opalus Nightmare, so I'm going to keep it. But let's see. Another one, that's great. The deuce, okay. Unfortunately, not much I can do that. Because... That is not a creature yet. And she's quite unfortunate. They go for Jace right away. Phyrexia showed me the truth. Flesh, you can be made to obey. I mean, another one that's interesting. So they decided to go for the spell Geyer, okay. At this point, I have to scry. More like I have to cry. I could also not scry. Because, like, if I get a. Mm, there are some cards that I really want to have these enchantments for, I'm not going to lie. Okay, that's not it. Oh no, they have removal. That's fair. So these will transform. I don't know if they don't start just drawing cards eventually. I mean, it would make the most sense. Those were good cards. Ooh. I do like love braids. I don't think I necessarily want to keep lands on top. Let's try to play my braids. Do not kill it. I need these braids. Okay, we did get a land anyway, and it's not a great one. But hey, at least I have a braids now, right? That's not good. Whenever a creature and opponent controls die, they may pay 3 life. If they don't, return their card under your control. Okay, so let's pay 3 life, I guess. Organic minds are easily cleaned. So now if my creature is dying, is like really bad. No secret. Escapes my grasp. That ain't bueno. I'm just here with my little one one. So that exiles it, so this should not trigger at least that. 
I would not be playing Exiling Effects with the Meatwood Massacre. lands <laughs> that's not good that's a pretty good card they're going to get access to a lot of cards search for any card which is scary okay sure become subdued I'm sure they have answers that's my issue okay what is that That's cool. That is cool. That is cool. Nothing could be more vulnerable than your memory. That's nice. It costs a lot, but it's nice. Opponent goes first. I definitely want to keep this. I like this card. It's, it's so cute. It's like a little monkey. Devil monkey. Okay, that's fine. It exiles so I don't get the value. But it's okay. Do they do the same for this one? They better not. Next I have raids, which is, that's just going to work super well. Grab, that's fine. Okay, so they needed the land. They're playing with this vigilance thing that gives mana, so it's like a gruel ram kind of situation. Oh no, I cannot play braids. Oof. Okay. Oops, no. I want to kill that one. Maybe I'll get a land. Okay, that's good. We can play it next turn. I don't know why I thought I had two swamps, but that's fine. We can do it next turn. Let's attack, see if they do anything. I feel like they have removal. So you know what? I'm not going to play yet. Uh, the braids, I'm going to instead do these and play another Fear of the Lost Teeth. And next, I'll play the braids. Okay, that's fine. So they can choose between the two lands, gain some life. The commercial district is good because they get to surveil. Maybe I should have attacked first. I'm almost sure they have something, but maybe they don't. That's okay. That doesn't kill my braids, which is nice. So definitely I'm going to choose the Oplus Nightmare. Ooh, a Viper is good here. Really good, actually. That's okay. Questing Druid. That's also okay. So, if I choose these two... I feel like they'll have something to protect the Questing Druid. That's okay.
least I know what they have. And I'm going to suck a land. Should have sucked a, a mountain. I don't know why I didn't, but. That's a good one. I don't know what they have, but I'm not about to. Not about to block. That's fair. It does not work though. So let's attack with both. I guess they just die. GG. G and G. Yeah, I can keep this. I mean, we have creature, reward for creature. It's all that we want. This, this card is so cute. It's like little ghosties all around. They might cut it down. That's fair. I hope they bat try to bat us. Hmm, they didn't. They did not try to bat us. Well... Sure, but it's already attacking, so choose. They know what's up. They know what's up. I'll pay the one. Just so I can have a little clock. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. So I can steal it, but I don't get much from stealing it. Because it does not get aced. I guess I get more from... Stacking this creature. Yeah, I can play that next turn, I guess. I mean, hopefully they'll run out of options. That's okay. Yeah, that is a good one. That is a good, good one. I guess that's why they really want to kill that one one that pings when it dies, because they have a lot of one toughness creatures. Ooh, that's that, that's bad. That's real bad. Well, at least I can also draw some cards, I guess. that they also draw. I don't know if I want to use this. Mm, I mean, I guess. I already... Okay. That's not a bad one. I'll keep it. So it's scary because they have so many cards. Like, where are their lands, right? They have to have lands somewhere. You would think. You would think. You can start manifesting the dread, which is nice. Okay. That's fine. Choose your poison. And they don't know that I have another one. Okay, so, I can start by attacking, because why not? Do 
do they let this resolve? That's a good one. They also draw. Maybe I should have used this first. There are several things that I want to do. At least I'll manifest the dread again. Okay, it resolved. That's good. Let's see if this resolves. It has to be like one by one to see what's resolving and what's not. That's a good card. Okay, we can draw a couple of cards. No, no more lands, no more lands. It's enough, it's enough. Do they have more flyers? That would be bad. They have a lot of flash cards, a lot of instant speed things. Yeah, that's not great. At least I can block it. Never mind. Oof, that looks so good. This card is so good. Unfortunately, don't have much going on. Braid is not bad. Okay, that's good. I definitely want to get rid of that. I'm actually happy about that. I can do that now and manifest the dread. Unless they sacrifice an enchantment. Is this an enchantment? No, it's an artifact, so... The only enchantment that they have is the Enduring Curiosity. I guess they want to return it as a... Oh, ooh, that's a good one. As an enchantment. They'll still be able to deal a lot of damage, unfortunately, for me. But... And draw cards, draw a bunch of cards. I guess that's the worst part about it. It's all the cards that they will draw. Okay. Six cards, come on, what do you get, opponent? Okay. I definitely want to attack with everything, see what they have. That's okay. I knew that they would have something like that. I'm afraid of... Um, of a cut down. So, it has to be creature, I think. This is artifact, so they can just sacrifice the map. So I think it has to be a creature. Not looking too bad, not looking too bad. Braid's kind of caring. I love Braid's, I gotta admit, I love it. It's such a good card. This Weasel is really cute. So they can make a 4-4, they can deal me 4 damage, but that's not enough. 
and they have to spend almost all their mana. This Viper alone is kind of carrying the game. But on a serious note, this Enduring Curiosity is a very strong card. Okay, so they have Fountain Port. Another Braids, okay, so we have to attack. That's like for sure. So they have to either sacrifice a non-land permanent so they or discard. Okay, so they discard it. Okay. The Viper. I'll draw a card. Okay, that's not exactly the card that I wanted. Okay. They still die. GG. G and G. That's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really had fun playing with Rakdos. I think Rakdos is a very strong archetype. I like the cards. I think they worked so well. They're super synergistic. I'm sure the deck is going to, with time, get perfected it. But this is my version and it felt pretty strong. So let me know in the comments what do you think and what deck are you excited to play uh, in Duskborn? Because now I'm sure you saw a lot of decks from a lot of content creators that are amazing. They have been posting a lot of different decks, a lot of different interactions. So let me me know what deck did you saw that catched your eye and that you want to play as soon as Dusk Morn gets released on MTG Arena. That's it for me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!